Shadowbox is a WordPress theme that is customizable, flexible, and extensible. Built using a prototype of a theme framework, which I'll cover in more depth in the uh, Shadowbox Under the Hood screencast. Here I'll just give a quick overview of its UI and design philosophy. The Shadowbox design is simple enough, consisting of a box with a drop shadow on a background, common design on many websites. The drop shadow essentially given the illusion of one surface being on top of another one. Using this simple design, technically known as a Gaussian blur, as a starting point, the shadow box theme adds a number of variations, variations that can be created through options. Options accessible through your blog dashboard. Here's a white background. We can try a black background. Here's green, and you'll notice here that this is actually a gradient. Here's a gradient that goes from white to gray, or gray to white, to yellow. Here's blue, and so on. In addition to setting options for the background color or image, Shadowbox also has options for setting the color of your header. and sidebar. Or sidebars if you decide you need more than one. Shadowbox also has options for changing the width of your blog ranging from 750 pixels for small blogs to up to a thousand pixels for larger blogs with more sidebars. Sidebars are of course for widgets. Shadowbox doesn't assume any particular set of widgets, but it does offer recommendations. So if you plan to only have a right sidebar, Shadowbox re recommends that you add widgets for pages, recent posts, Recent Comments, Categories, and Tag Cloud. If you plan to use both left and right sidebars, Shadowbox recommends that you put your page and category widgets in the left sidebar, where more hierarchical organizational representations tend to go, and put your search, recent posts, comments, and tag cloud on the right, which is where blogs typically put these sorts of views. Shadowbox also has bars on the top and bottom where you can also put widgets. This site includes a set of links in its top bar and a bunch of RSS feeds in its bottom bar. This iteration of Shadowbox also has options for setting the color of your text and links as well as the style of your links, those in your posts, uh, those in your categories and those in your tags. Some of the tag and category styles specifically borrow colors from your sidebars so that if you decide to use both right and left sidebars and you have categories in one and tags in the other then you can provide visual cues to your readers that associate category links with the category list in the left sidebar and tag links with the tag cloud in your right sidebar. You can see tag links are in a box that is the same color as the sidebar where the tag cloud is. And category links are in boxes that are the same color as the sidebar which has the categories widget. So if you click on a category link, you'll see the archive of all the posts in that category with the left sidebar and the category widget there available for you to see. In the same way, if you click on a tag link, you'll see all the posts with that particular tag and the right sidebar with the tag cloud widget available for you to see the other tags. Shadowbox is in many ways designed for WordPress MU or multi-user. Integral to its design is the background and what I'm calling meta areas. The top right is reserved for information about your role on a given blog. 
You can include anything you want in the upper right area, or you can include a link to the WordPress sign-up page where your readers can create accounts and blogs depending on how you set up your instance of WordPress. You can also add anything you want to the bottom left area. The bottom right area is reserved for the shadow box attribution and uh, a link to WordPress. One last UI design pattern I'd like to point out in this introduction, that of the editing overlay. Shadowbox styles your post-edit links so that they are prominent and distinct and of course appear only on posts that you can edit. Shadowbox also adds links to edit widgets in your sidebars and adds a new post link at the top of your post column. I should also mention that Shadowbox does allow you to add your own custom header image. So, that's it. That's Shadowbox in a nutshell. I'm really thinking of it as the first in a series. I'll likely use the same code to create other types of themes, each with their own set of options and variations. Check out Shadowbox under the Hood screencast to learn more about how to extend Shadowbox yourself, or create a new series based on Shadowbox core functions. I'm more of a designer than a developer, so if you want to refactor my code, that'd be great. Shadowbox is GPL, so please include attribution in your derivations. Thanks for watching, and now to post this to the site.